Well, it's that time of year again, Mother's Day. And look, I know about half of y'all are thinking to yourself, what the fuck is she going to talk about when it comes to Mother's Day? But the other half knew exactly what I meant before I said it. Because this time of year, while it's wonderful for some of us, can also be very painful because not all moms have behaved well. And man, was this point brought home to me by a blog sent to me several times this week, written by Kim Hickenbotham of Mourning Her Son. Not because he died, but because he was gay and getting married. As much as I usually link shit and cite my sources, I don't want to give this bitch the clicks and y'all have Google if you care to read it. But trust me when I say, this is the narrative I've heard not just from the mothers of the LGBTQ community, but of non-believers as well. I'm not abandoning him. He abandoned me for sin. Love isn't the same as acceptance. Suck my clit, lady. Look, we did a lot of nice, cutesy, give your mom a hug shit for Mother's Day stuff, but let me be the millionth person to say, fuck this piece of shit. Fuck her moralizing, judgy, false mourning. How dare you insult the mothers who have lost children by comparing it to your own bigotry and lack of understanding. Look, I get it. You couldn't squeeze your ass cheeks together hard enough to muster up some empathy for something that you don't understand. And while it would be perfectly fair for me to go all Timothy on your ass, I'm going to use you as an example of something positive instead. So this is for you. Yeah, you listening with a shitty mom who said you were less than because of who you are and what you believed, fuck her. If you're going to trust me on anything, it's that you make the realest family you've ever had in this life. And that bitch didn't deserve you. You're a better child than she deserved. And if you want to be, someday you'll be the mother she couldn't be. So for those for whom last Sunday didn't mean awkward phone calls and flowers, happy Sunday to you. And happy Motherfucker's Day to her.